Did you know this DLC comes with 24 new pieces of equipment? Oh yeah! Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an equipment showcase of every piece of equipment coming with the new Alpine Farming Expansion DLC releasing on Thursday, November 12th, 2020. That is two days from now at the time of recording. Today, we're going to be looking at new pieces of equipment from, uh, well, let's be honest with you, a lot of Pottinger. Some Lewand is in here as well. New brand farming simulator 19. We've also got a Bachman trailer over here, and we even have some SIP Sevenusel stuff. Do we say that already? I think we said that already. There's a lot of Pottinger in there. <laughs> there it is. But it is all beautiful. It is amazing equipment, and I cannot wait to use it, and I can't wait to share it with you. So how's about this? Let's let's get right to it man just so you guys are aware i'm gonna be doing this just like a mod video so check the description down below and check out timestamps for everything that you are curious about i will do my best to keep everything as organized as possible and if you want to go check the description below check out the alpine farming dlc website you can follow along hey let's check it all out today there's not going to be really an order of importance but we're going to go in order of where it appears and the very first thing can be found in plows. It is the Pottinger Servo 25 plow. This is going to require 85 horsepower, has a 1.2 meter working width at 7 miles per hour, and costs you $14,000. Next new mod is in cultivators. This is the Pottinger Synchro 3020. This requires 90 horsepower, has a 3 meter working width at 9 miles per hour, and will cost you $7,500. Next up, one of my favorites. This is the Pottinger TerraDisc 3001. This is a disc hero, brand new. 95 horsepower require 3 meters at 10 miles per hour, and it will cost you $16,000. For our next mod, we move over to Cedars. This is the Pottinger Lion 303 and the Aerosim 3002 all in one together. These are going to hold 1,250 liters of seed. You're also going to require 220 horsepower to run all of this together. 3 meter working width at 9 miles per hour. It's going to cost you $40,000 and you will be able to do only seed with this again and you can do wheat barley oats you can also do canola soybeans cover crop and grass next up we have a manure spreader but this is not just any manure spreader this is the stockel maestro 3400 sr this actually works with the unitrack 122 l drive truck thing that we talked about yesterday and as well the same time this video is released i'm also going to be releasing a video showing off this and all of the features with that unitrek and everything involved this manure spreader right here 3400 liter capacity 12 mile per hour uh, or 12 meters at 10 miles per hour it's going to cost you twenty thousand dollars it only does manure we have a slurry spreader that'll work with it as well this holds 3200 liters of slurry and digestate as a 10 meter spray at 10 miles per hour twenty thousand dollars but we could change that spreader plate to drag hoses and now we have an eight meter spread at 10 miles per hour but if you don't like that hey go with this swivel distributor this right here will shoot in whatever direction you decide at five meters spread 10 miles per hour if you decide to go with the drag hose that's going to be an extra fourteen thousand dollars being quite expensive but if you don't like that you can go the swivel as well two thousand dollars there or you go with the spreader plate which i think out of all of those is the best option and it's the cheapest now let's get into mowers we have four mowers total coming with this dlc first we have the sap noosel which are branded with rigatrack or rigatrack I believe it's like the same brand it's just a different name on it which is super super cool i love seeing stuff like that going back and forth this is the sep so f240 mower is going to require 40 horsepower as a 2.4 meter working with at 12 miles per hour and is only going to cost you twelve thousand dollars next is the pottinger nova alpen 261 front mower this is going to require 45 horsepower as a 2.6 meter working with at 13 miles per hour and will cost you twelve thousand dollars next is the pottinger NovaCat 301 Alpha Motion. This is going to require 60 horsepower as the largest 3.1 meter working width at 13 miles per hour 
and will cost you $16,000. Still very affordable. And included with that is one of the most useful pieces of equipment that I think is coming with this DLC, the pack mower version of this. This is the Pottinger Nova Disc 812. 90 horsepower required, only 90 horsepower for this. 8.1 meter working width, so it's a little bit shorter at 13 miles per hour. Only costs you $28,500, being the most popular option, I think, for rear mowers. This is going to work perfectly together. So take your 812 in with the 301 right here and you are going to get the perfect combination. Not only is this a very, very cheap and affordable rear mower, you can see we've got a bunch of springs here on the back. That means this is going to hug the ground. So if you're on those really hilly areas, you probably saw in videos that we've done previously showing off tractors that have some incredible suspension, pair this with those and you will never miss anything. We got some more Pottinger stuff for you today, or Pottinger, sorry, po Pottinger. I gotta say it right, <laughs> just like the guys at Giants do. This is the Alpen Hit 4.4H. This is a tenor, 30 horsepower required, 4.4 meter working with, at 11 miles per hour. I don't know about you guys, I really enjoy Pottinger equipment anyway. I just, something about the color, stuff looks beautiful. This is no different. And similar, we have the Pottinger HIT 8.9 T Tether. This is a 60 horsepower required, 8.9 meter working width at 11 mile per hour, $23,000 Tether. This is going to be compared a lot to this, as it should be. They're very, very similar. But this bad boy right here, 75 horsepower, 13 meters at 11 miles per hour. This one's 60 horsepower at 8.9. So, and you also have, uh, not a significant, but a decent price difference there. I like this because it gives you room to grow. This DLC's also got quite a few windrows for you. We have four of them total. This first one is the SIP favorite 254. It has 20 horsepower required, 2.5 meters at 12 miles per hour. But if you don't like that, you could change it up to the Sebnu Silvario. Same specs, 20 horsepower, 2.5 meters at 12 miles per hour, but it has that Subnusal brand if that's something that you're trying to stick with. Either way, this is going to work great on the front of your tractor. So get something like the AB281, get something like that, put it on the front and rock and roll. And similarly, the SIP Air 300F Alp works exactly the same way. Put it on the front and it will merge left or right depending on which way you want to go with it. 100 horsepower required, 3.5 meters working width at 12 miles per hour. And this is going to cost you $15,000. Another window row for you, the Pottinger Top. 342. This is going to require 35 horsepower as a 3.4 meter working width at 11 miles per hour and is only going to cost you $5,900. And the last windrow coming with this DLC is the Pottinger Top 612C. Wow, 612C. This requires 50 horsepower because it's 5.9 meter working width, so almost 6 meter working width at 11 miles per hour. Has a wheel setup right here, which is pretty sweet. So we have a standard tire. And we have wide tires as well, $18,500. Either way, hey, go with wide tires always. We talked about a manure spreader and a slurry spreader that works with the Lindner Unitrack 122 L drive. And this one will work with that as well. This is a new loading wagon, 12,000 liter capacity, 70 horsepower required at 12 miles per hour. It's gonna cost you $21,500 and it does chaff, grass, hay, straw, and it does silage as well. Similarly, we have three Pottinger loading wagons as well. The first one is the Pottinger Boss Alpen 251. This is going to hold 16,100 liters, 60 horsepower is required for this, and will go 12 miles per hour at a max working speed, and it's going to cost you $30,500. And we go a little bit bigger with the Pottinger Euroboss 330DT. This will hold 20,500 liters, requires 90 horsepower, of course, runs 12 miles per hour just like everything else, and it's going to cost you $45,000. And the last loading wagon to talk about today is the Pottinger Faro 4010D. This is going to hold Hold 26,000 liters will have a power requirement of 130 horsepower because 12 miles per hour, just like everything else, is going to cost you $70,500. And we can change up the wheels from Trelleborg to Michelin. So we can choose back and forth between those. If you do go with Michelin, it is going to cost you a little bit. It's going to cost you an extra 350 bucks. Not too bad. These look great. Now, a grass DLC more or less would be nothing without some balers to rock with it. So with this, we have two of them. The first is the Pottinger Impress 125F 
Pro. This is a round baler. It's going to make 4,000 liter round bales of grass, hay, or straw. And it will require 120 horsepower, so pretty darn low for a round baler. And as a 12 me or 12 mile per hour max working speed at $66,000. And your other baler, this is the Pottinger Impress 125 FC Pro. This is going to have an extra thing in the back. This is going to wrap your grass or hay bales, or if you're in season, it's just your grass bales. This is going to make 4,000 liter round bales, but it will then wrap them and drop them. As far as foil color goes, we got a couple here. Things that you're already used to seeing in game, we have white, we have black, we have pink, and then we have baby green right there. Wheel brands, we have a trailer bork. We also have Michelin tires, so you can choose between those. And the wrapper design, this is different. So we have a standard design, or it adds this little thing here on the back. Might be able to see that right there. That is going to flip the bales on their sides whenever you, uh, whenever you eject the bales. So it will go boop, and it will put the bale on its side, keeping it from rolling away absolutely awesome i love it i love it i love it and from what i'm also told this is uh the person who made most of these machines this is one of their favorite machines as well that they made and i can see why goodness gracious look at the detail on the inside Cool. Oh, yeah. To find the last two pieces of equipment coming with this DLC, we have to go into tool set and miscellaneous, and we're going to find one more piece of equipment that's going to work with that Linear Unitrack 122L drive, just like the slurry spreader, the manure spreader, and the loading wagon. We get the platform. This is going to hold 2,000 liters of bulk crop, so like a normal tipper trailer would, you could change that up. You could change the colors on it, just like you can on the truck. Oh, I would just leave it red if I were you. Extension. So we have a platform extension. This is going to, well, the platform itself costs you $2,500. And then when you have that extension on there, it's going to cost you an extra $3,500. You could do the platform with a three-point on the back. That's right. So you could do a three-point on the front of the tractor and the rear of the Leonard tractor as well. Or you could just do the three-point regularly. So you could just have kind of this open back on there. So platform, platform with three-point only three-point hitch now the question would be what could you use this with well great thing is you could put other things on top of here and kind of layer up if you will which is pretty nice and the last piece of equipment that we're going to talk about today is the bachman mhal 4320 35 goodness gracious what a name trailer that's right we got a new trailer for you this can be pulled by truck by tractor whatever you want it's got a ball hitch on there so that's how that's going to work. This bad boy right here will open up. It'll raise. It'll lower. It doesn't hold any crop. However, it holds equipment. That is right. I believe for the first time, Giants have released a car trailer, as it were. It does have straps as well, so you could strap things down. For example, you could strap down the AB mower, that push mower. You could put that on here, strap it down, and rock and roll. Heck, even if you're using some other mods, you could put those on here, strap them down as well. So cool, so awesome. There's so much stuff coming with this DLC. But the big question is, what do you want to see? What are you most interested in? Are you excited about bailing? Are you excited about the new loading wagons? Are you excited about the new mowers as I am? Maybe you're excited to see how everything hooks up to that Leonard Unitrack multi-purpose vehicle, which, hey, that video is out right now as well. Go check it out. <laughs> Gotta do this after that one. Hey, there you go. But as far as everything else, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. If it did, let me know down in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed overall. Get subscribed to the channel if you are new. And if you are new, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well once you have subscribed so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos or tons more equipment and information news when it comes to this DLC right here. And if there's a video that you want to see on this, let me know. Otherwise, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace!